Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it's about six o'clock in the morning. I left the house at around 5.30 and uh, it's snowing like crazy. There's about six inches of snow outside, maybe five inches of snow, but the roads aren't plowed yet. So it was a real guessing game to try to stay on the road. Um, but I'm down at the canal uh, lighthouse at the entrance to the Sturgeon Bay Ship Canal. I'm, actually, I'm on the west side or the north side, depending on who you talk to. But I'm on the side that has the Coast Guard station. So, And uh, there are five other cars here this morning. We're all waiting for the Masabi Miner to do its thing. It's on its way in, it came across the lake through the night. It was over near Muskegon, kind of hiding out for a while. And surprisingly, the 1,004 foot Masabi Miner is coming through the canal. Um, that's a big surprise to me. So I'm not going to be able to vlog from here because it's, you know, it's too dark. So I'm going to try to grab a couple of photos here and then head into town. And it might be dawn by the time she heads into town, gets into town, but it's snowing really heavily. So I don't know what I'm going to be able to get. Anyway, that's the plan from here for this morning. Well, <laughs> that was quick. A lot of waiting around and then, you know, they come in quick when they come in. It doesn't seem like it. I was able to get a couple of shots off. Now we're gonna head into town. And uh, I think I'm gonna shoot from a location I've never shot from before. So, I was hoping it would have its uh, Search lights on, you know, it's spotting lights, but it had just brightened up. It was maybe right around sunrise. And uh, so they turned the lights off. Would have been much more dramatic if, had they been on, but uh, man, that's an impressive boat there. The Masabi Miner. All right, let's head into town. I drove to Graham Park, the former site of Christie Corporation the shipyard where the keel of the SS Badger was laid back in 1951. And there I ran into one of Sturgeon Bay's finest, my old friend, Andrew Crabb, who just came on duty. So we got about, a, what, a 20 minute wait probably? Until it comes in? Yeah, depending on how eager he is to get late in the, in the base ship. I don't know if the weather plays a factor. I'm assuming that I think they got to go slow. They, you know, they displace so much ice and water. They got to go really slow. Yeah, I got some overhead shots of the Badger the other day when they were turning her. You should have seen how much ice she was pushing, man. It was unbelievable. I went up to Newport State Park a couple days ago uh, with Daisy and uh, just took the camera just to see if anything intrigued me at all. And I actually rented a pair of snowshoes because I didn't know how much snow they had up there. And uh, they didn't get any shots, but it was really cool is there was a thin layer, maybe in two inches of ice on Lake Michigan. And just the, there was no wind and you had lake effect snow and then you could see it kind of drifting across. And then you could see the waves pushing the ice up and down. It was, it was just <laughs> kind of mind blowing. And there was nobody out there, right? No, Yeah. nobody out there. So Daisy had a free run of the park. What's the deal with the other uh, pugs over here? I don't know what those tugs are. I think they're out of Green Bay, actually. I've seen tugs like that. I didn't. I, never, I didn't catch the name when I was here the other day, so I'm not sure. But they're trying to compete with Sartre. No, I don't know. That'd be foolish. <laughs> The sleek and elegant Misabi Miner has been owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company since the onset in 1977. She's capable of carrying 63,300 tons of taconite ore pellets at midsummer draft. 
That's the equivalent of about 900 rail cars. Rather than carrying the name of an industry executive as is customary among lake boats, her unusual moniker was given in honor of the people of the expansive Misabi Iron Range in northeastern Minnesota, the source for nearly all the iron ore she carries. Misabi is an Ojibwa word, meaning giant. So, how do you thread the needle? Navigate a 1,004 foot long giant through a shifting ice field, a blinding snowstorm, and two bascule bridges that are nearly a quarter mile out ahead of you from where you're standing, and the bridges that are only 600 feet apart from each other, with as little as 17 feet horizontal clearance on either side. These bridges, by the way, are not aligned. Well, you do this with a feather-light touch, nerves of steel, and supreme confidence. Behold, 